Hi everyone, Drink the Neat Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Quavo album, Rocket Power. This is the second solo album from Atlanta rap legend Quavo. Uh, as one third of Migos, he helped revolutionize the sound of Southern hip hop for the millennial generation. He always had my favorite vocal of the trio, however, uh, he had a pretty weak solo outing when he and Offset and the late Takeoff uh, all respectively started dropping their own albums. I guess that uh, golden expressive voice can only get you so far if you uh, don't have great production and songs to back it up. However, it does seem like Quavo is trying to up the ante on this new project here with bigger beats as well as more personal lyrics. The opener Fueled Up, for example, has production from Murder Beats and Kenny Beats, but honestly sounds like a very thick, lush display of psych trap that uh, you would catch off of a, a Travis Scott record. We have bars on the cut about Quavo going back to his moves, his old ways, which does bring up a pretty central theme on the record, the past and looking back, and Quavo essentially taking note of what brought him here to this point, what made him the man he is today. And I think it makes sense that Quavo would be reflecting this way on a record like this, especially with the recent passing of his nephew Takeoff. And uh, it has been about 10 years since Migos began to break through with early singles like Versace as well as their No Label 2 tape. And I think this song is a great way of introducing those ideas. We essentially get another dose of looking back on the following track, Patty Cake, uh, which literally features Takeoff. Considering the unk and few mention in the midst of the track, it may even be a leftover from their 2022 project, but it's still a pretty sick one at that with some massive horn samples, these plucky orchestral bits too. The Takeoff refrain on the track is sticky as hell, and I think the track just works as a really good capsule displaying the chemistry that they had artistically uh, before his passing. There's also Mama Told Me, which is obviously a pretty personal cut too. It is a good mom tribute, but instrumentally features some eerie, stuttering synth lines and a kind of oppressive atmosphere. Not really the warm or uh, positive vibe you typically expect from a song that's uh, kind of a shout out to mom. Like, on this kind of beat, Quavo could just as easily be rapping about trapping out the bando. And you know what, even if I do like the beat, that might have been more fitting. But again, a lot of big beats on this thing, even with the track Who Whit Me, which features some horn-like synth leads that feel like the soundtrack to some kind of ship battle in space among the stars a star war an idea i clearly have to copyright and i was also moved by the uh, chillingly beautiful vocals sampled on hold me benny x did a bang up job on this one that's for sure and i like how quavo occasionally works into uh, that repeating hold me line and brings some of the most personal lyrics on the entire record uh, through this track not usually a mode we hear him in again but uh, it fits him and uh, we have some decent sung lines on the track too uh, that sound nice even if the auto tune is doing a lot of that work. So yeah, all these tracks collectively contribute to a pretty strong first leg for this project. But from here, things start to trail off a bit uh, with the song Wall to Wall, which is another moment on the project that yes, uh, to a degree, does sound like a Travis Scott ripoff. But this one is especially messy with a very mushy mix. The bass, the synths, the vocal, pretty much everything just sounds uh, disoriented and out of whack. Plus, you have to take into account you uh, get these random soul breaks jumping in to switch things up and then we're back into the mush. Turn Your Click Up featuring Future uh, does have some kind of quirky synth lines that I thought were uh, very ear grabbing. <laughs> the worst impression of it, but still. Uh, Quavo and Future have absolutely zero chemistry on this track whatsoever. Uh, they don't bounce off of each other in an interesting way. By Future standards, this feature is pretty forgettable. And even though he does play a larger role on the following back where it begins, the song just kind of operates like your average auto crooner anthem. The takeoff feature is really the only memorable thing about the entire track. Now, I will say 11.11 does pick things back up with one of the best instrumentals on the project. Even if, again, it does sound like Quavo is bringing more Travis Scott Astro World era vibes. But then from here, we nosedive even harder into a very weak final leg with Galaxy that features all these faux tropical rhythms over some spaced out pianos and Quavo getting kind of buttery with it vocally. It just feels like a Drake track, but Quavo doesn't have that, uh, you know, kind of soft boy charisma to pull this sort of thing off. There's also Disciples, which I didn't go into this record 
record expecting bars and bars and bars. It is a Quavo album, obviously. But lyrically speaking, this one just came across so scattershot that it was unintentionally silly. I don't trust nothing but my family and my rifle. I ain't paying attention to nobody but my rivals. I ain't know I had that many bosses in my iPhone. Haha, <laughs> please don't tell on me no way homes. Haha, <laughs> I'ma always find you a way home. I got a big old bag. I gotta keep a bag of that dog shit. Dirty money, wash my hands with dirty money and wash it clean. So yeah, that one's kind of a bust. Uh, there's also the song Focused, uh, who's very lazy grooves and, and super distant lead vocals uh, leave it feeling kind of like a demo, even if the Young Thug feature on the back end of the track is decent. Stain handily has the worst chorus on the entire record. It's mind-numbingly repetitive and annoying. Uh, meanwhile, Not Done Yet is what you would get if you could, like, kind of uh, disney um, an inspirational trap song. Yeah, this is like truly some Mickey Mouse stuff. It's silly. Rocket Power, I thought, was pretty unceremonious uh, as a title track. Outside of the uh, super Travis Scott-esque, again, epic synth outro that the song just kind of busts into in the last leg. It feels very tacked on, but I guess it's... Uh, something. And then finally we get the Closer Greatness, which I, I actually did like, and if I remember correctly was the uh, first real single we heard from this project. And I still like Quavo's flows on this track. I think the Latin horn sections are great, the way the keys emphasize the upbeat. Uh, it's a pretty sick change of pace, but just feels kind of thrown on at the very end here, considering that uh, it's, it's a very upbeat vibe uh, that maybe would have been more necessary earlier on in the record. Maybe you could see it as kind of a victory lap or credits roll moment, possibly. But yeah, overall, I will say that a Rocket Power is a slight improvement on Quavo's last record uh, in terms of, you know, finding a better balance of bops to flops. But still at this point, on his own, I just don't think Quavo has much of a voice, direction, or style. Uh, at his best, he kind of just musters one-third of the magic that uh, he did at one point in Migos. And like I said earlier, there are other worthwhile moments on the record uh, where he's getting kind of personal, but those don't last very long a lot of the time. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this one. Tran, Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Quavo, uh, forever.